why we are giving up on the film industry. It sounds extreme, but wait, there's good news here. But first, we're gonna tell you a story. We're gonna tell you a story about what we learned trying to make a movie in the system. And then we're gonna tell you what we're doing about it. So you might remember two years ago, we filmed a video in here talking about The Beast. It was a script we had just finished. We were super excited to make it into a movie. Heck, you might remember us a few years back talking about Tether before that. Another thing we had finished, we were super excited to make it into a movie. We're like, you know what? We're Corridor Digital. Yeah. People like our stuff. Let's go out there and let's do it. Here we come. We're gonna talk to producers. We're gonna make it happen. <laughs> Woo! Let's show Hollywood that we have what it takes to make a movie. <laughs> we can do it. Boy, how naive we were. Now I'm kind of sad. But not that sad. We have a big announcement coming. We have an idea. Let's tell you a little story. We've done some long form projects in the past. Rush, fun to make. Totally marred though with just the system the entire way through. First off, we wrote it as a feature film. Halfway through, we're starting to get notes from these executives saying, hey, actually, we're gonna be wanting to turn this into a uh, like a web series now. And so we're like, what are we shooting? Not to mention EA gives us the rights to the game Battlefield before filming it. So they're like, you can use Battlefield, but it has to be based on Battlefield Hardline, which is our police-based game. And we're like, uh, okay. Okay, and so we write a treatment for that, and then they're like, actually, hold on, we don't really care anymore. And so we write it about normal Battlefield, and then at the end of the project, we wrap, and then they're like, also, you don't have the rights. Because of that, the budget is like basically being reduced because we can't advertise it as Battlefield, so. When Rush came out, as on Go90, so you had to go to some arbitrary Verizon platform they can only watch on your phone to watch our series. So it's immediately there's a barrier to watching it. Once again, these are products of this system, products of this big old school executive system that runs a lot of big creative content you see. Go90, YouTube Red, Tombstones, Quibi, I'm not dead! <laughs> yeah. Lifeline, same situation. You know, it's like, hey, we're gonna make a show with YouTube creators, and then they're like, so uh, we're gonna have you go into casting sessions for like two months straight, and then at the end of it, we're just gonna say, actually, we're casting it now, and we're like, okay, cast it, and then boom, you meet the actor first time on set. Great. Who are you? Uh, I don't know. Uh, you're this character. It's like, okay, is this character like uh, happy or angry? And we're like, uh, uh, kind of in between. I, it's kind of complicated. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. There's elements I was proud of during those experiences. A lot of learning for sure. But ultimately, each one was a like, all right, let's perform the craziest like mental acrobats we can to navigate this like political TV executive system. It's all just so we can get some dang funding to try to make some cool stuff. There's really that going into the traditional Hollywood system just might not be something that happens for us, at least in the route that you're supposed, supposed to do it in. Will we make something cool down the line? Well, stay tuned to the end of the video for the answer to that. We're getting closer to the announcement. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not there. We still have a few more things to say. It's not back there. That's the announcement. Don't oh. look at it over oh. there. Okay. <laughs> so how close are we to making the beast? Well, we finished the script, it was great. We made all these revisions, it was shiny, polished. We sent it off to some producers and we got a great response. Not only did they like the script, but they you know, saw the YouTube channel. They're really impressed and we got our first meeting. It was a big producer, we're gonna make this, you know, big budget movie. It always seems like such a great situation going in, but coming out of it, it's always the same result. We had, you know, budgets put together, all that kind of stuff. And the producer pulled us into a serious meeting. We had a pr another producer who was very serious. Same things, like your stuff, love the script. I really want to make a movie with you. And we're, we're like, like, great. Heck yeah. Wow, heck this yeah. is the closest we've ever been. Like, real, for real. It's like, it's an original script in the hands of someone who actually is passionately about, he's, he's like giving us timelines on when to shoot it. And we're like, whoa, this is this is very real. Oh, wait, what's that? What's that up there? Is that a giant B-U-T floating down? A big ol' What is that? But, <laughs> <laughs> but actually, let's rewrite your script from the ground up to fit a really conventional horror movie that we can sell internationally. And then we also want to make sure that you guys have about half the money that we discussed making it for. We're like, well, okay, so basically what you're asking for us to do is for us to basically leave the YouTube channel for one to two years, maybe get a shot at having a successful film. Is this just a notch on our belt at this point? Like, this isn't even sustainable. It's like, we'll make a movie. Maybe it popped out and it became a big horror film and... Yeah, and I, I started doing the math on it and I broke the budget down they were offering and I'm like, wait a second, like if you added up all the last corridor videos we did, it's like the same budget we're basically working at right now. <laughs> the only difference is that we would make it and we wouldn't own it and there's no way like you guys would really be able to get anything out of it because we can't release it on YouTube. We can't show it to the people who really want to see it first. The economics of this don't really add up anymore. It came down to this fork in the road. On one hand, this opportunity to do a film, it wasn't gonna be on our terms, we're gonna own it. And the other path is find a system and create a system to be able to do this ourselves. Because 
that itch isn't going away. This is a big announcement here. Here, say it at the same time. Ready? Three, two, one, go. This we're making time a web a website site. is being launched. <laughs> no, this is really cool. No, this is super cool. This is super cool. Look, this is not just about what we want to make. It's also about what you want to watch. Imagine we release a video and you really like it and you leave a comment saying you want to see more of it or want to see a bigger version of it or something like that. Now imagine if each of those comments actually financially contributed. We could have made 10 tethers by now. Exactly. And I feel like that's, that's the spark that we want to keep here. We want to be able to create things that you really want to see and then make sure that your voice is heard. It sounds really corporate when you say it. Your voice, oh, you, you've got the power. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, is that this is kind of a story about systems here, like the YouTube system, that's one of them. The film industry, that's another one. And then what we're creating is something that's different from both. We're gonna make you the executive. We're gonna be doing a subscription-based website. You're going to be getting a representation of what your subscription is, and then you can decide what should shows your subscription goes to. We're not just launching it, by the way. We have shows. We have ideas. They're coming. You'll see them soon. Vlog. <coughs> Vlog. <coughs> Vlog. You will be able to be the audience for the shows that you want to see. You don't have to wait for some majority audience to hopefully like something that you like. You just get to see it yourself. The great thing about this system is that A, it eliminates us having to go out and try to find financing from some arbitrary person. B, it eliminates the wonkiness of the Kickstarter system where you're trying to just fund something but then you don't know what to do with it because you don't have any way to distribute it. And C, it builds up a relationship between you and the art you want to see. So we will be launching the website soon. We are a few weeks away. We are working on finishing it right now. But in the meantime, thank you for watching our stuff and for inspiring us because it's with your passion for our content that we have realized that the Hollywood system is not where we want to be. We want to be here with you and this website is a way for us to do this together. So we'll be talking more about it soon. We'll be announcing it soon. Thank you for hearing us out in this video. CorridorDigital.com is going to be really cool. Subscribe. What, what was that? So, sorry, what? I said subscribe to the website. See? The website. <laughs> the web? Saying subscribe is going to have a whole new meaning in a matter of weeks here.